Hi, in this video, we are going to discuss some strategies using VWAP. What is the VWAP? How to use VWAP? How to gain an edge with VWAP? Who is VWAP for? These are some of the few questions we will answer in this video. Let's start now. First, we must understand what is VWAP. VWAP stands for Volume Weighted Average Price. A usual moving average is calculated solely on price. VWAP is a mean price calculated as an average on price and volume. VWAP is an accurate calculation of the mean price for an instrument. VWAP is the price reference used by institutional traders. This is why VWAP is so important in trading. There are different variations for the calculation of the VWAP. First we can calculate VWAP based on a certain quantity of bars, 10, 50, 100. We also can start calculation at the beginning of the weekly or daily session. In this case we calculate VWAP for the session. And finally, we can calculate VWAP as a moving average. We can implement VWAP in our trading strategy. There are different ways to do so. We will consider some of them. VWAP to determine trend. VWAP to determine entry. And finally, VWAP as a target. Let's see now the different cases with examples. VWAP can be used to determine the trend. The rule is quite simple. If price is above VWAP then means the trend is up. If price is below VWAP then means the trend is down. Let's see a real example. Here we have a chart of the Dow Jones. In this chart we use a daily time frame. And we can observe changes in the trend over time. On the left, we can see that price is above VWAP for several months. This means that the trend is up. In the center of the chart, we have a second period lasting from February to May. And now, we can see that price is below the VWAP. We are in downtrend. Finally, on the right, starting in May and ending in August, we have price moving above VWAP. We are once again in an uptrend. As you see it is quite easy to determine trend using VWAP. Rules are very clear and easy to apply. VWAP can also be used to search for low risk entries. Since VWAP can be used as a dynamic stop loss zone, we can find low risk entry near VWAP. If we place a buy operation and price closes below VWAP then we would close the trade. If we place a sell operation and price closes above VWAP then we would close the trade. Let's see some examples. Here we have daily chart of US 30. We see that the price is above VWAP and the trend is up. Each time that price comes near VWAP we have a new opportunity for a low risk entry. We say that this is low risk since we would place stop loss below VWAP. And if we enter near VWAP then we can have a small stop loss. At the same time we can have big reward following the trend. This is a very good entry. This is what any good trader should be looking for. In the third strategy that we will discuss today, VWAP is used as a target. Price always return to the mean. When price goes far away from VWAP then probability increases that price will come back to the VWAP. This is what we call the mean reversion. Let's see some examples. Here we have an example of the US 30. In March stocks market was strongly down. This was a financial market crash due to COVID-19. We can see in the chart that price is below VWAP and very far away from VWAP. In this situation we can expect price to come back to VWAP. We can compare this situation with oversold market. The logical movement for any overreaction is a correction. Here we have another example using a VWAP indicator that will display deviations above and below VWAP. The deviations are calculated as multiples of the ATR indicator. Average true range. 
when price comes to the third deviation, we can consider that price is far away from VWAP. And it can be a good zone to search for an entry. We have different opportunities displayed in the chart with the arrows. We have a first opportunity at the third deviation. Price then goes sideways, almost reaching VWAP. And then price resumes movement higher. This operation could be break even. Then we have a second opportunity. We are in a strong move and price reaches first, second, and finally third deviation. This is where we can search for an entry. In this case the movement is very strong and trend resumes. This entry would have been a loss. We have a third opportunity after a very strong rally. Price is at the third deviation and starts to move lower. It finally reaches the VWAP level. This entry is almost perfect. Finally we have an entry for a buy operation. After a strong down move, price reaches the third deviation below VWAP. This is where we can start to search for an entry. After entry, price starts to move higher. Then goes sideways for a while, and finally move resumes to reach VWAP level. This is another winner. Beware that we only give some concepts in this video to understand how VWAP can be used. We do not pretend to give a complete strategy, ready to be used and make money. Of course VWAP must be combined with other indicators to build a complete strategy. We have seen a few strategies with VWAP. Now I would recommend VWAP to any trader. It certainly is an indicator that can be very useful to stay on the right side of the market. Most professional traders do use VWAP as one of their main indicators. Why should you consider using VWAP? Well, institutional traders are the ones who move the market. If you want to make money in the market you have to follow the institutional traders. And use the same price reference, VWAP. Using VWAP, you can stay on the right side of the market. This video is almost over. I hope it was useful. If you want to know more about our VWAP indicators you can visit the product info page. We offer different VWAP indicators. They can work for different platforms. If you have any question you can contact us over email. This video is now over. Don't forget to give a like to the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Receive our latest video updates. New products releases. Special offers business opportunities. Thanks for watching this video. Talk to you soon.